And then, I'm gonna, I forgot to start my other camera. Now all we have to do, put it in a bowl. Hi there, it's a rainy day in Charlotte, which means I feel like eating soup. So today I wanna share with you my very favorite soup recipe, it's butternut squash soup. Now the cool thing about this soup is, number one, it's really easy. Number two, it's really good. Number three, it is gluten-free, dairy-free, um, Whole30 approved, and all the other things. I don't know. And delicious. You need some butternut squash. Now, I like to buy the kind that's already cut up because I'm lazy or I don't know, I wanna keep my fingers and cutting up squash is really hard. So my recipe calls for about, it's gonna fill up this crock pot. So if you want to half the recipe, you should half the recipe because it's gonna make a lot of soup. I have a big family. Um, it also freezes well. My recipe calls for 32 ounces of cut up butternut squash. thing you need, chicken broth. Now, you can use vegetable broth if you want it to be vegan, but I like chicken broth. 32 ounces of chicken broth. Then you want about two teaspoons of salt, onion powder. I'll put the, I'll put the, um, what you really, you know, the, I'll put the measurements in the comments below. Description. I'll put the measurements in the description below. Garlic powder. A little bit of ginger. Stir it up, put the lid on. Now, I'm gonna cook this on high for about four to six hours, and then I'm gonna come back and check on it. Now, you can also make this recipe on your stove top. It's super easy. You just bring all the ingredients to a boil and boil it until the squash becomes soft. Meanwhile, I'm going to fry up a little bit of bacon, and um, you'll also need a can, I don't, oh, here it is, a can of coconut milk, because we're gonna add this in at the end. See you back here in four to six hours, and we'll check on our soup. All right, guys, I'm back. It's been a couple of hours. Soup's been cooking in the crock pot. I forgot to start my other camera. All right, guys, I'm back. Soup's been cooking all day, it smells delicious, and we are about to blend it with this. This is an immersion blender. They're not very expensive, and I love mine. I use it all the time. I use it for soups. Um, I use it to take um, sauces and puree them because my family doesn't really like chunky tomato sauce and stuff. If you don't have one of these, you can transfer in batches to your blender and that'll work just fine. It'll just be a little messy. You'll have to have a couple extra containers and be careful it's gonna be hot. Here we go. Mmm. It's gonna be good. Got a can of coconut milk and I'm going to add as I blend. I'm gonna start with probably about half a can. All right, here we go. Oh, I forgot to tell you, that other noise in the background is my air fryer because I'm serving chicken fingers to go along with the soup. Because if your family's anything like mine, they don't usually just want soup for dinner. So sometimes I'll make grilled cheese, sometimes I'll make chicken fingers, um, sometimes I'll make salad. Anyway, that's that noise. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. All right, now all we have to do, put it in a bowl. And I have, some bacon bits that I cut up. I don't know if you can see that. And some sunflower seeds. So we're just gonna... Uh, nope, sorry, these are pumpkin seeds. You can put whatever kind of seeds you want on top of it. These are salted pumpkin seeds. A little bit of bacon on top. And... 
at this. Woo!